Hi guys. So, I'm going to be super frank with you all. The past two weeks have been really, really rough. Um, not only emotionally, but also physically. Um, I just, I guess I'll start with like the negative and then end with a positive note because I want to, I try to keep all my posts and social media and everything upbeat at the end just so to keep everyone positive and everything like that because I do want to spread a positive message overall. But, um, so, uh, last week, um, I had had a really bad migraine, um, vestibular migraine to where I was really dizzy and I blacked out and hit my head and then, um, pulled a muscle in my hip and my shoulder. They thought I dislocated my hip for a bit. It wasn't, um, and it wasn't fractured, uh, and I had to call my friends to come help me, which was embarrassing, and then ambulance had to take me, which is frustrating because that's more expense, but, uh, they did say I had a concussion and my vestibular migraine caused a heart syncope, um, with my blood pressure, so... And then, so my neurologist and I, we talked, and they think I should go back up to Chicago to do more um, infusions and biochemo and DHE. But the last time I did that, I was there for three weeks and you can't be released from the hospital floor for three weeks and it made me very sick I mean it helps in the long run but it makes you very very sick like nausea like really sick to your stomach I lost some hair it was it wipes you out it it's awful I don't like saying chemo necessarily because like people think it's related to cancer and it's not but it is like chemical biotherapy so it is chemotherapy but not like cancer related um basically so it's called DHE and there's other biochemo that I do up there and it can be expensive too so I don't know and I'm I would have to go by myself it sounds like because my mom can't come because she's working and I I don't know I don't know if I'm able to make that step and then pelvic pain wise it's been really rough the past couple of days and it like started out good like with the soba and everything like um it started helping some like I could see some improvement and it still does help somewhat and the tramadol um but I'm not seeing as much change from it as I wanted to and recently, it's been really frustrating, like, just being in so much pain all the time. And that inherently has just made me really, really sick to my stomach. I've been throwing up at least once or twice every day. And I'm getting so frustrated. 
and there was like some uh, like other emotional stuff that I've been going through and um <laughs> that didn't help <laughs> but like I don't know I'm getting so frustrated just being paid all the time like I can put on a brave face and do okay emotionally if but after it goes like for five six plus days non-stop by like the fifth or sixth day I break and it and I, like you can't sleep at night nothing helps I barely I don't even have the energy to get like a shower and I'm so fed up with living like this because it's not living and this is a lot of what I try to usually hide from people I try to hide my tears because I feel like I don't want to make other people upset but I also feel like people need to know um and that chronic illness pe like people struggle with chronic illness should not be ashamed of their tears and their pain and so that was another reason why I wanted to post this just being completely 100% honest that I am really just struggling right now, emotionally and pain-wise, because I am just, I'm so sick of living my life in horrible pain day in and day out, and when the meds don't cut it, it's so frustrating. And then having to cancel stuff. Like, I worked so hard making these paintings that I wanted to sell this weekend. And then that never happened. And then I wanted to uh, help my friend babysit. And I couldn't do that. And I just feel like my life is just slipping away and I'm stuck and I hate feeling stuck I hate existing like this and I know God has a purpose and I know that God loves me I just wish the pain would stop. I just want the pain to stop. Uh, and I guess I was really hopeful that um, the Soma and Tramadol would work. Which it has. I mean, granted it has. I don't want to be diminishing that, but... It hasn't taken the pain down as much as I need it to. And so we have, I have an appointment with Dr. Theophilus Tuesday. And my friend Ben is going to take me and my mom down. And I don't know. I I don't know what I'm going to say because I'm like, I don't want to be like, oh, it didn't work at all. And like, you know, it did, especially I could tell it definitely worked the first like couple of weeks I did it. But then I don't know if I build up a tolerance to that or if you can build up a tolerance that fast. But um, I don't know. I guess I'm just scared. 
because I don't want another doctor to be like, you know, we don't know what else to do. We tried to give you our best help, and so, you know, we can't do anything, and then you leave. I hate hearing that. Because it's just devastating, because when your doctor loses hope, you lose hope. And hope is the one big motivator that you can just get yourself through the day. But I'm just... It hurts so much. And I hate it. And I wish there was something that I could do to take it away. Or at least make it bearable. And in return, I feel weak for not being able to handle it. But like I said, after five or six days with the throwing up and the pain and not sleeping, I get so wore out. And... I don't know what to do. And I don't like calling my friends because I feel like I'm a burden to them. I actually try to rotate with my friends on who I call so I can like distribute my burden, their burden evenly and I don't wear any one of them out emotionally too much which I know is silly but I just don't know what to do I just I don't understand why God is doing this. I don't understand why I'm in so much pain all the time. Well, I understand why I'm in so much pain all the time, but um, why God gave me this pain. <sighs> And it's so hard to see friends of mine getting into relationships with people. And, um, and uh, getting jobs and going to school and getting their own places and, and having kids. And, is just hard because <laughs> I feel like I'm my life is a waste I know it's not it, but that's how it feels sometimes <laughs> I'm sorry you guys had to see this but Like I said, I wanted, I want those with chronic illnesses to know it's, it's okay. It's okay to show the hard parts. It's okay to show the times when you're emotionally vulnerable. Because that is a part of our lives and we're human. And so I wanted just to confide and share and slash update. So, and as prayer for Tuesday is when we're going down because I really want some long term solutions because I can't keep living like this. I'm tired of getting my hopes up and then getting them crushed when something doesn't work. So if y'all if you guys could just pray for a long term solution to come out of that. 
that works, I would really appreciate it. So, um, one thing I did want to update, um, this was the positive side, um, Ollie has officially got a new trainer, and we'll be going to her tomorrow afternoon, and I'm gonna try to show you guys a bit of his training, but that is really awesome, and they were able to work with me with the pricing and everything, um, and they're, I think they're called Tri-County, um, Tri-County, my mind is blanking, I, part, one of the wonders of chronic illness and fibro and being in pain all the time and lack of sleep and meds is fog, brain fog, and you can't think straight. Any, uh, I'll link it below. Try county something. <laughs> They're very sweet. Um, is gonna start his training, um, continue his training tomorrow. He hasn't, this will be his first time there. He was with a different trainer, but she had to leave. Um, but he'll be starting that tomorrow. Um, sorry, that was just another thing I was thinking about, it was just, I feel like I push everyone away because of everything that's going on. And people keep telling me, like, Chris, it's not your fault, you can't help it, and I know this, I know that's the facts, but... from like family to close friends to doctors to traders to counselors <laughs> I feel like I push people away and I don't mean to <laughs> and that's the reason why I hate what I'm going through because I feel like that pushes people away too because I feel like with my emo with my uh, physical emotional and financial all that baggage I feel like I push people away and I don't know why and it makes me scared I don't know it doesn't make me scared it just that like frustrates me with like the future like because, you know, every person, every girl wants to get married. Everyone, you know, wants that ha happily ever after. But I'm like, I don't know if that's even in the cards for me. Because I would feel so guilty of being such an like, emotional and physical and financial burden on them. But then, and when I do sometimes try to put myself out there, I don't know, I feel like I get pushed, not pushed away, but like, kindly friend zoned. But that's a whole other thing. Um, yeah, um. I don't know, but I talked to my dad, and, and he was like, you know, God does have a plan for you, and he does have that perfect person for you, and, and I don't even know if I'm ready to do something like that, I don't, I don't know, that was a whole other side thing, sorry. <laughs> Trying to focus positive. Okay, second positive, um, was, okay, so the second positive thing, um, I think that I was wanting to share with you was that I will be having the second appointment with Dr. Theophilus, 
and just praying that it goes well so um and that we can find some long-term solutions so ollie's trainer coming up training that's gonna be super positive and i'll try to do some footage of that uh tomorrow if i can and then our appointment on tuesday so that's kind of an update for me and I'm sorry y'all had to see me lose it, but it is a fact of chronic pain and spoonies, our lives, it comes with tears, it's frustrating, it's painful, um, but in the end, I know that God does have an ultimate purpose and that he will get me through, even though I don't understand what it is or why, I am trusting him that he will get me through all of this. So, I thank you guys for just being here and supporting me and your sweet comments and love and prayers. They're very, very appreciated and needed right now. So I love you and hope you all stay chronically strong. Bye.